Today I would like to discuss how Hawkwing's inquiry frameworks can improve the quality of your experimentation. By experimentation, I'm referring to A-B tests, control test experiments, any situation where you have numerous versions of a thing being compared side by side in a production environment. From my experience, organizations are all too ready to run these. They run them too often. And even those that ought to be run lack some of the structure and clarity needed to hit the mark at the end. Often they're sort of haphazardly assembled. Um, it's like experimentation in some companies becomes like a knee-jerk reaction to any question. I think that sort of culture is positive, but the end result of this is a lot of experiments that shouldn't be run. And it degrades the overall quality of the experiments that do get run. Like I mentioned previously, if our work does not directly relate to advancement, we're, we're really jeopardizing our work output. And this is exactly the purpose of Hawkwing's inquiry frameworks is to, to fix that piece, to make sure we're performing that consideration upstream. This is also a cornerstone of Hawkwing's insight training. So when we train analytics, insights, data science teams to perform at that highest level, we're focusing on inquiry about the work product, about the overall value of what is being generated. So for the case of experimentation, I assume that it would be a leader in analytics or likely uh, the person owning the experiment itself who would be going through the framework. And the objective here is to really understand what's happening in the experiment. What are we doing? Why are we doing it? This is a focused 15 minute period where the owner of the experiment is going through a series of questions that are designed to provoke some thought about the work that's about to occur. First of all, what's being tested? There's a thing being experimented and there's a thing in the experiment and there's something that's being tested on. So there's a, let's say a new button or a marketing message or a new piece of cloud infrastructure or new process and it's being examined against something, a new audience, uh, a new metric relating to product performance, whatever it might be, let's narrow it down. Simplicity is key with experiments. If we get too complicated, we'll lose our way. What would happen if we didn't run this experiment? So if we just chose the version we expect to perform best and put it in production at full scale, what's the risk? Let's at least be clear about what their risk is. Let's make sure we know what it is. I'm not saying we're going to do that, but we should at least consider it. Here's an important one. When do we measure results? Let's say we launch an experiment today and it runs for, you know, a month or two months. At what point can we say that we're done? At what point do we know what happened? It sounds like a simple question, but when one change is made upstream, it often has a cascading effect. It changes various other things that might take time to accumulate. So if you want to understand the full value of your experiment or the full scale of the change it really precipitated, let's make sure we understand that time scale. We don't want to measure too soon or too late. Let's make sure we think about that upstream. Another point that's very important to consider, what are we going to do when the experiment is over? There are only a few possible outcomes for an experiment. We have a few versions running. Really, there's only a few things that can happen. So in each of those scenarios, what are we going to do? Is it going to lead to a specific action step? What's the next step? This is critical. And most experiments that I've seen miss this piece. I think this inquiry framework will result in many experiments being paused or put on the shelf. And that's a good thing. We want to focus on the experiments that are actually going to drive value where we have enough clarity about the next step. Finally, there's a very valuable byproduct from this framework. This is the data set about why you ran the experiment, the context, what we thought was going to happen, what we thought we were going to do after it happened. Of course, when we look back on this, we'll see that we were silly in some of our assumptions, but we'll have this record that guides us. It's not something we have today. Most experiments today run, often results are presented, and before too long, the experiment becomes a distant memory and we move on. Let's keep a record of this. This is the data set, the strategy metadata 
that is part of the Hakuin inquiry framework we can deliver back. So give this some thought in your experimentation and reach out if you need some help.